Hello there, everybody. You are the audience. My name is Supersonic Blur, and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke. Last time, we had an exploration around now that we have Surf, so we went to the Fuego Ironworks, and then, after a little bit of time there, realized it's nothing there. So went to Route 219 and 220 towards the Pal Park, like we were suggested. We caught three Pokemon along the way, and in between the episodes, we've done what we normally would do, and we've gone ahead and leveled those up. So let's have a look at those. As you can see, Shuti Kotlo uh, or Shuti Kotli is uh, a fully evolved Mag Mortar. Now, a pretty decent look for them. Base 158, special attack, decent special defense, decent speed. It's pretty good. Like, it's got a little bit of bulk to it. Like, it's not too bad. Flamethrower, Psychic, Thunderbolt, and Brick Break for now. I mean, Brick Break, probably get rid of, but Flamethrower is pretty good. Psychic, like, we've got three base 90, 100, um moves. That's pretty nice. Like, some nice coverage on that, so that's not too bad. Uh, Book of Ak has also evolved on into the Kingla with a stupid stacked, uh, stupidly stacked attack at 168. It's pretty nice. Not the fastest thing in the world, but a little bit of physical defense as well to its name. To Waterfall, Swords Dance, Agility, and x Scissor. Swords Dance and Agility, if we can set them up, could be ridiculous, like even just a plus one uh, or plus two on each of those. That's like what 228 speed and 336 attack. Um, kind of disgusting, um, to, to say the least. So that could be something, and then it could just sweep through. Maybe who knows? I don't. Worst comes to worst, if we could get this thing to have baton pass, just swords dance agility, swords dance agility, baton pass. And we leave to something else. But lastly, Astlick. The, um... The very, very buffed Astlisk, uh, thanks to, um... Adriano here. 136 special attack on 160 speed. Ain't bad. Moonblast, Surf, Aqua Ring, Aqua Jet. Yeah, it doesn't really have that many good moves, but you know, Water Fairy's a reasonable type. It's pretty fast, pretty bul uh, not pretty bulky, but pretty decent attack to throw behind it as well. So we could use that, maybe. We maybe could use that. In terms of today's party, this is what we are running with. We have Tapio, who we haven't seen in a long time, running a Life Orb just because... We're going against a lot of water Pokemon, so I thought Stab Leaf Blade with a, would be uh, pretty good. I mean, yeah, that's that's just pretty good. Balkan is also coming out with an Expert Belt because it's good coverage, good the uh, good typing on that kind of thing. It's pretty good. Young Cash as well because sometimes you can never have too many. You can never have too many good. Um, uh, grass types and Giga Drain is also really, really nice for us. U turn can be useful as well. So we've got that. They're holding the XP share just so that we don't over level anyone. Narcissus because they're a tank. Uh, Shamela is because they're also really good typing, really, really solid. Battle armor means that we can switch them in fairly safely and keep them in fairly safely. And lastly, a Koro Kamui because, hey, why have one tank when you can have two tanks? Giga Drain also giving us some uh, recovery as well on top of the Black Sludge is kind of disgusting, and that's really good. And because Leftovers and Black Sludge are two completely different items, they are totally fine to be running with the limitation. So, today's game plan, uh, we've got route to 21, and we've also got route, uh, we've got the Pal Park, is pretty much where we're going to be heading. Maybe if we defeat that quickly enough, we might also look at, uh, route to, um, at route, oh, I haven't got anyone with Surf equipped. That was very silly of me. Uh, maybe we also look at, like, 218 as well. Um, we could potentially look down that way, but we'll have to see. Uh, surf, yeah, we'll teach Surf, like, uh, we've got a bunch of Pokemon that can learn it, and by that I mean we've got two, so Kuro Kamui, yeah, we'll get rid of Scold. Like, it's, don't get me wrong, Scold is really good, but we can always reteach it. Uh, to something else like the reason the reason that so many times it's like scold over surf is just because hey There's like a 30% burn chance So your tank that's really specially defensive now and has a lot of bulk now can deal with physicals really well as well by halving their attack So that's like the rough idea with things. It's why I've kept uh, Narcissus with um, With it as well, but it should be fine. We uh, will just 
I was gonna say we'll just walk on past these kids, but never mind. We'll, like I said, we'll head on back down to roughly where we got to. I'll be honest, I don't quite remember. I record these in uh, in advance enough where I'm like two weeks ahead of myself, but also as well um, because I'm two weeks ahead of myself. That's two weeks ahead of myself. With the other recordings that I've got done, I've got like two other recordings in the backlog. Uh, as well. We fought both of those two, I remember that. So we'll go over this way and we'll pull up the trainer list as well because it's always good to have that. Uh, I don't remember how far we got. I'm pretty sure we dealt with um, with the Weir Lord. I don't think we dealt with some of the other ones. So we'll be... Yeah, we've dealt with you, so that's fine. Um, we'll just go along here. I really should put a repel on. That would be the smart thing to do, but you know, when have I ever been the person to be the smart one? Well, I mean, hopefully I can be the smart one, because I've got, again, we've got some plans for some things that we can do here. How well they're going to go, eh, who knows? I don't, but let's do the smart thing at the very least and put on a super repel, because, I, you know, I can I can talk a lot, but, yeah, I kind of, I can kind of ramble. Um, I can ramble pretty well, but... I'd, I'd rather not have to, so I'll just make my life a little bit easier. You, God knows who you are. Let's just find out. Oh, this is a double battle. Oh, bollocks. No, it's not. Wait, on your mask, I said go. When I say that, let's start. Okay, I know where we are. <laughs> okay, I know where we are. I didn't see Eric down the bottom there. That's fine. Polytoad. Okay, Polytoad with Drizzle. Double slap, perish song, swagger, and bounce. I'm so glad I didn't accidentally blunder into a double battle here, but it's fine. Uh, Leaf Blade here, pretty much going to be a guaranteed kill because this thing's... I mean, it's a Life Orb Stab Leaf Blade on a Sceptile. Admittedly, Sceptile's not in Overgrow, but it's still pretty fast. Like, that's something. Politoed fainted, we'll take 13 damage for our troubles, that's fine. And Cash gains some XP as well. Totally okay. What's in next? Oh, yes, I know what's in next. Next up is Lantern. Volt Absorb, Discharge, Flail, Thunderbolt, and Takedown. Hey, we're Grass Dragon. We don't care. <laughs> like, straight up, we just don't care. I accidentally blundered into the right uh, into the right choice for things there. So, sometimes, you know, sometimes my brain is so brilliant at realizing these things, it doesn't physically on a consciously level recognize it. It's all in the subconscious. But, you know, ain't too bad, but I'd, I, I'd like to be aware. You know, I'd like it if my brain could at least tell me that kind of stuff. Ooh, leg cramp in the sea. Ouch. That must hurt. Thankfully, you have... Oh, I just got... Oh! Well, never mind. <laughs> uh, whoops. I'm dumb. I bought a new bikini. It's this year's newest model. Well, okay. 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 Um. Okay. Yeah. I have this the wrong way around. Okay, it's fine. I have. I just have to edit uh, something on the, on this. Uh, can X control. Oops, control V. Yeah, I accidentally. Um, I put it around the wrong way, so one of the other trainers I have is being looked at as the double battle. But this is a Starmie. Illuminate, recover, swift. Psy Wave and Confuse Ray uh, will Leaf Blade you down. I was very concerned about what was going to be happening to you because there's a dangerous Pokemon potential coming in as well. But thankfully, it's not the case, so that's fine. Now, and that's Starmie dealt with. Hooray! Starmie is dealt with without too much issue. <sighs> okay, that's good. You can cash gain some XP. And next up here is a Blastoise Drizzle. Iron Defense, Aura Sphere, Skull Bash, Aqua Tail, Pfft, don't care at all, we're just gonna Leaf Blade you down. Wee. So yeah, that's four Pokemon, four, uh, four shots, that's 13 times four, which is 52. 52, which should put us at like 82, yeah, 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 see, I can do basic maths, do basic maths with that, Claire has been defeated, Psh. Yes. Okay, now we're gonna do the smart thing and just, there we go. Move out of the way of you. Oh boy. Right, uh, we want to go ahead and just heal on up. So we'll use a super potion. We'll be two off. And yes, that does mean I'm gonna use an orange berry because you know me. You know I'm not gonna let that happen. So we'll use the orange berry. Do I want to stick in... 
kind of don't, kind of don't. So you know what? Let's let's switch Okoro Kamui into the front here. I want to see how this ends up going here. So uh, just in case we find a swimmer anywhere, we did not. So that doesn't matter a whole lot. We'll still keep uh, we'll still keep in the front. I think that will be fine. Um, we have repel on, so that's fine. Swimmer. No, no, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep it, we'll keep it. Let's see what you've got to say then. Well, does it look like I'm swimming gracefully? I mean, are, 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 are you not? Are you on the, are you, are you not? Were you not? I don't know. Ah, good, yes, this is Dylan. Okay, so Swampert here, Torrent, Take Down Hammer Arm, Earthquake, and Muddy Water. Giga Drain here. Should do a lot. We could also, as well, if we really wanted to, set up a barrier. Just in case. I'm going to do that because I'm scared. Uh, I'm very, very scared. So we'll set up a barrier here. Raise the defenses sharply. Uh, go for the earthquake here. It does look like Swampert is about to hit the sickest dab ever. Um, but he goes for the earthquake. That does... Not that much damage to us, thankfully. We'll just heal on back up, thanks to the Black Sludge. And since I know that's the case, uh, that was about 70 damage. It's about 140 with a crit. So we should, as long as we go above 140 health here, we'll be fine if it doesn't kill. But this is four times super effective. Oh, it didn't. But thankfully, we do go back to full, so that's fine. Even if he uses Earthquake again, it'd have to crit. And the crit, I... It might kill. It might. I don't know. That could kill. Yeah, that was a lot more. Okay, because that was 72, which then doubled the 144. So it was still fine. We were still fine. We'll get a drain here, and this will guaranteed kill. But this is like, this is the thing about Okoro Kamui that I wanted. It's like Skull, Barrier, Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb is really nice coverage. It's very bulky, specially defensive. It's got really decent coverage. It can attack into the uh, into the earthquake moves with things like barrier and scold could burn it. So it's got like really nice coverage. And I really think this is a cool Pokemon that honestly we could see some more use of. It's got a lot of cool utility because barrier also helps the whole team. But is this what I think it is? No, it's a protein. Okay, well we got some protein, so that's not bad. Uh, we'll keep the Pokemon that we've got in the front because why not? We will, however, go ahead and heal you up because you know why. You know why. <laughs> I'm paranoid and scared. So that will work. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What are we doing for Route 220? Uh, for 221. Well, we're going to be doing. Uh, we can't catch anything. I think that was the trainer I thought we were going to fight. Um, that's a fisherman. Uh, we can kind of fight the fishermen, so we could do that. There's a, there's a nurse here, which is really nice. Um, so let's fight Fisherman Cory. Yeah. I like fishing, no question, but battling? No, that's what I love. Okay. Let's do it again, Fisherman Cory. Send out a wish cash. Oblivious, so there's no point us setting up a barrier. Um, thrash, Muddy Water, Future Sight, and Earthquake. Um... We are not going to stick in because there's no point in sticking in with that uh, with that being the case. We're instead going to go to Yumkash because Yumkash, uh, well, just ignores the earthquake. Used Muddy Water. It went for Muddy Water over Earthquake. Very interesting. Did not expect that. Either way, Yumkash is still fine. That was a crit. Thankfully, not very effective. Now, Kicker Drain's going to do some disgusting things. So now we're in a good spot. Yeah, the, the Giga Drain here should kill. Uh, it does mean that Yumkash gains a little more XP, but that's okay. Or oh, I have the tickly nose where I want to sneeze. Oh, and it passed it. That thing with the nose went awful. Ah! Oh. oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. It's not the feeling of needing to sneeze this bad. It's the, oh, it's passed. Oh, I hate that. Oh, that felt awful. Anyway, Gyarados here comes on in next. Intimidate, Crunch, Dragon Axe, Outrage, and Hydro Pump. Uh, kind of a difficult one for us to properly deal with, but thankfully the Intimidate doesn't really matter. Crunch can hurt, Dragon Dance and Outrage can also hurt as well. If we really wanted to, we'd switch out here. Um, and, uh, we'd, yeah, we, we could switch out here into, um, 
into Narcissus. Narcissus then takes no damage and can wall this thing super effectively and we just take our time moon blasting it down. I think that's the safest thing to do. So... <sighs> yeah... I think we do that. I think we do that. I think there's no reason to waste time dicking about, so we'll just go to Narcissus. We get rid of Outrage, which Dragon Dance is the biggest problem for. Goes for Crunch, which again, we will very nicely um, without too much issue. We should full heal this as well. We don't. Damn. But, yeah, now we're just gonna do, like, Moonblast this thing. This thing can go for, like, Dragon Dances. Um, it doesn't really matter to us, because, like, it can't Outrage, it can Hydro Pump, but it'll likely go for Dragon Dances instead of to make Crunch stronger. But it goes for Hydro Pump instead. We tank that very well as well, because, again, we resist that even better. So, yeah. Guess it saw a higher roll with that, which is scary. Um, but yeah, Moonblast should do it in, uh, in three, and we'll be fine with that. Like, we could potentially be like, oh, maybe we get, like, Giga Drain and it kills, but it's only neutral, so I'd rather not risk it. Crunch, yeah, it doesn't do that much either, but it could get a defense drop. It doesn't, know, so we're fine. I'm surprised they haven't gone for, like, uh, a, a Dragon Dance, seeing that they're slower than it. But, you know, that's, uh... I don't know AI that well, I'll be honest. I look at it and go, what's the most damaging move you can do? And do that. So, maybe that's a thing. Like, it's something that I should know a little more about, but at the same time, do I really need to know that much about it? Probably not. Though it would, <laughs> I, I still want to know why Barry clicked, uh, clicked Bullet Seed. I don't know how he saw a higher roll there, because it just does less damage. It's, uh, it's rough. Lastly, Kingler here. Hypercutter. Knockoff, Guillotine, Slam, and X-Scissor. Knockoff does the most damage out of all of the moves it can do. Um, which would be a little annoying. And everything's got a goddamn, uh, item. So, it doesn't really matter. Um, the only other option you can go for would be Slam. X-Scissor we resist anyway. So, it'd be neutral at best. But, look at that. That's so much damage. There's the Slam. Wham bam, that's fine. That Narcissus is gonna go ahead and round this out. Ooh, we want a Scold! Yeah, save a little PP. I mean, it doesn't matter there's the nurse next to us, but we'll use Scold for some move variety because I like the animation for Scold. I think it looks good. It was a crit as well, so why not? That works. That takes down everyone there. Uh, what have we got to worry about uh, coming in? A little bit to worry about. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, sploosh, get a little bit of money. We'll take that money and that'll do us good. Um, we still have a repel active, so that's fine. Hello, trainer, do you need healing? Don't worry, Pokemon never faint when I'm on the job. Fantastic. Um, okay, so that's fine. Uh, what do I want to lead with? Uh, Pokemon. Uh, summary, I want to check what actual moves you've got right now. You've got EQ. I could, can I swap EQ for X Scissor? I wonder. Because if I can, I might do that. As, uh, again, I feel the need to sneeze. But this one, I'm actually going to force myself to sneeze. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, it's gone. Uh, but yeah, we might. We're going to put X Scissor on, uh, on the front here. We'll go Earth, get rid of Earthquake. Uh, for now, yes. Do we get a crunch instead? I mean, we give it a crunch because I need to replace it anyway for something else, so that works. Yeah, I'm just looking at uh, some of the ace trainers around. Yeah, we'll get rid of crunch. We'll get rid of crunch because I need to replace that anyway, and I'm pretty sure I can replace that with what I know with anyway because I'm pretty sure I've seen that with the move. So that should be fine. Uh, we still have Repel active, so we can go ahead and get an Ultra Ball. That's quite nice. Uh, in terms of the actual Pokemon that we can get here, there's pretty much anything. Like, it doesn't actually matter a whole lot. Um, like, it will just end up with something. This is pure incense. Um, we do want to, though, go ahead and run uh, Chimela in the front for now. That'll be fine. Um, and yeah, uh, I believe they can also learn False Swipes, so if the Repel wears off, I might just teach them False Swipes and then teach them X-Scissor again. 
Uh, what are you? What are you? I saw it! Today's number is 19! Show me a Pokemon that's level 19. If you can, I'll reward you. No. No. Can I use your PC? No, I can't. Damn. Uh, repels effect wore off. Okay, well then, um... We will go ahead and teach them false swipes. Um... Because, you know, it's, it's, it's not, uh, I want to get that out of the way as soon as possible. We've got two Pokemon that can burn it, which would be quite nice. So, uh, Shellama can learn it. We'll do that. Um, let's get rid of x -Scissor. I know we just taught it, but shh. Doesn't matter. As for the Pokemon that we can get here, like I said, there's not like a whole lot that we care about. Like, we could fish for a 10% chance at a Clam Pearl. But we're not getting rid of it for anywhere else. The uh, clamp can only be caught here. Um, there is a tree that we could slather honey on, which has a good encounter in it, but that's like not good enough. Like there's 30, 60, 80. Um, yeah, it, it just doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't work out well for us um, at all. For, for, for that chance, so that's like, not a good look. So we'll instead just go ahead and walk in the grass and end up with a scun tank! Okay! Alright! Okay! I can work with this! I can work with this! Um, this scun tank here, uh, let me go ahead and just check on what moves this thing should know. That's wild Pokemon, that's not the one I want. I want, uh, Pokemon changes. S-K-U-N-T. Skunt! Let's find you. We've also the Skunt Tank. Uh, has had a little bit of a buff. A teeny tiny, eeny weeny little buff. Um, like a teeny tiny shift uh, in things. Actually, quite a big one for Skunt Tank. We'll have Aftermath likely more than anything else. I mean, it's level 40. So you will know Crunch. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Poison Jab, Flamethrower, Memento, Crunch. We basically have to catch this thing in one, or we don't get an encounter here, which will suck. Um, quick ball's the best chance we've got, so we're just gonna go for the quick ball. Scun tank, come on, buddy. Do not do something as stupid as throw your life away. Don't do it. There's no reason to do it. You're better than that. Thank fuck for that. Oh, that was disgusting. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna be able to use this damn thing, but. You know, I don't want to... I don't want to not have it. <sighs> poison Dark. Another Poison Dark, which is quite nice. It's attacks by spraying a horribly smelly fluid from the tip of its tail. Attacks from above confound it. Well, yeah, because it's got the whole quaff thing going. But we have a Skun Tank. Now I have to see if there's a skunk-related deity of any kind. Oh, boy. That's going to be fun. Nefertem or Nefertem or Nefertemu uh, is a god of perfume. Uh, originally a being sort of sprouted from the lotus blossom, the, uh, the origin creation of the world in um, Egyptian mythology. Yes, it's a guy who goes to a girl, but there's a lot of things that actually work with it. The lotus blossom uh, rising from the head, you get that similar sort of headdress. Uh, being the son of Bastet herself, uh, or Bast, he's often seen uh, sort of like a lion face or a cat-like body, which this scum tank certainly does. So Nefertem is a pretty good fit when you kind of fudge a little bit of it uh, and work with it. But a god, is, uh, a god of perfume and scents and such things, skunks certainly do seem to fit that role. So with that, Nefertem will be transferred to Avalon. Well, we'll have a look at them a little bit later on. Uh, but now we'll have a look at what we could have won if we uh, should need to do that. But yeah, we'll, we'll have a look here. Like, we'll throw we'll throw a honey on this, um, just because I'm gonna get upset if it was uh, what I thought it would be. That sounds like what I was hoping for. God damn it, Jinkoku! Why could or Kukunochi? Could you not have shown up? God damn it! I would have loved a Nuzleaf, basically. I think Nuzleaf... Oh, I, I think they're cool, okay? <laughs> I think they're cool. But that's too bad. So we got a reasonably good-looking Pokemon in uh, in what we caught already. So I'm happy with that. Who are you? Who and what are you? Because I don't know. You... Are still fine for us to do what we've got in the front, I think. Yeah, Pokemon. What I'm gonna do though? 
is instead I'm gonna put the choice band on um, Cause that feels like the right call um, Although Ooh, That's rough That's really rough I think it might actually be worth running a Koro Kamui in the front Just because I do need shell armor For a fight upcoming So I don't want to accidentally lose them Cause then my entire plan is out the window like, I can afford to lose a Kurokamui. <laughs> I can't afford to lose Shell Armor. For you, I'm willing to show off my prized Pokemon. Your prized Pokemon, my friend. Collector Ivan. You are Collector Ivan. Good, good. We know who you are. Togekiss here. Togekiss with Serene Grace, Sky Attack, Extreme Speed, Aura Sphere, and Air Slash. Not the nicest Pokemon for us to deal with, but Sludge Bomb should do a good chunk of damage into this thing. Um, this is why I was a little scared about, um, about, uh, everything. Oh, we get the poison as well. That's nice. Togekiss use Air Slash. Doesn't matter. Uh, we are relatively specially defensive, which is very nice for us. And we got the poison as well, so, yeah, that's, that's totally fine. Um, I love having, I love having defensive Pokemon on the team. It feels so nice. We're gonna Giga Drain here because I want the health back. Uh, it probably won't kill because A, it's not very effective, and B, um, I know, I, I kind of want to let it die to poison more than anything else. Um, I actually cost myself a lot of HP there. I shouldn't have done that. That was dumb. I'm dumb. Uh, but still, it's okay. We'll go ahead and just finish it off with uh, one more shot at whatever it takes, which will be a surf here, because why not? And that'll, that'll do us fine. That'll do us fairly fine. That's the first one dealt with. What's the next one? Yeah, we're okay, actually. We're actually okay, yeah. We should be fine. Yeah, we're fine. We're totally fine. So, Gorokomori gets a bunch of health back. That's fine. We can stick in here. And yes, it's a Blissey. So, ridiculously bulky, specially defensive son of a bitch. Serene Grace, take down light screen, healing wish, and counter. But because it's got counter, I don't want to switch to a physical, even though it's paper thin physical defense. I don't want to risk it. So, we'll go ahead and throw out a sludge bomb here. We're basically waiting on, uh, on the poison here. Jesus. Okay, maybe we do swap. Uh, maybe we do swap indeed. Was hit with recoil. It's not hit with much recoil, but we can pretty much do whatever. We can pretty much sit here for as long as we like with Sludge Bomb. We just throw out Sludge Bomb and wait for it to take damage and get poisoned. There's the poison, and we win. Game over. Goodbye. Just set up a light screen. Oh no! Please do not set up a light screen while I set up a barrier. That would be so unfortunate for you. That would just suck. Oh. Yeah, we, we're basically going to sit here and just let Poison do this. We'll set up a barrier so that the uh, takedown doesn't do that much to us. And we're fine. There we go. It just feels weird because you've got Light Screen, Reflect, and Barrier. And of the two... Oh, that was a crit. Of course it was. Of the... of the Like, Light Screen makes sense defending against special attacks. But then you've got Reflect and Barrier. And given the screen aspect, you'd think that Barrier makes sense for it to be the team-wide one. But it's not. That's annoying. Uh, we're gonna Giga Drain because I feel like I want some HP back. I gotta get like 2 HP, I reckon. 3 HP? Wow. Bad. But yeah, the takedown's not really not gonna do that much. That was 6 damage. Like, you just, you don't even take recoil damage from that. So that's fine. The poison's really starting to rack it up. And we're just gonna barrier again. Case is a crit, you know, just in case. Just in case. Just in case. The sharply raising again. This is gonna do, I reckon, like three damage. Wow, we just halved it again. That's kind of ridiculous. So yeah, we go back to full. The poison will hurt. Probably two more turns of poison. Ooh, it might be more than that, actually. Um, we might have to poison it again. So we'll just throw out a sludge bomb, do a little more chip damage. Hope we get a reasonable shot in. That's fine. It goes for takedown again. Oh no, three damage unless you crit, but you didn't, so it's fine. Light screen wore off. That's fine. And now, uh, will the poison end here? I don't know if it will. Will it be enough? Oh, just not enough. That's, that's unfortunate. We'll giga drain it. I want that HP. I want that, like, four HP that you've got there. 
Yeah, there we go. That works. So the bliss is taken care of. And nice and slow. And a Kurokumui. God, I miss Tentacool. Tentacool is such a nice, bulky Pokemon. It's just nice. I like it. So that's that. Now we're just looking for a couple Ace Trainers that we have to worry about. A couple Ace Trainers on this route. Uh, then we will go back and have a look. So that is... Difficult for us to see what I want to do there in that one. Um, I want to check actually. Can we want to learn Shadow Claw? Because Shadow Claw might be nice to have. Um, Shadow Claw is somewhere. I don't remember where. It's just a move. It's Shadow Ball. Uh, what I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm just looking for Shadow Claw because I know that's. Uh, there it is. There. Use. How many? How many Pokemon can learn Shadow Claw? None of them. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can work with that. Um, in which case, then, I want... <laughs> I want a Dark-type move. Again, X-Scissor. X-Scissor could be usable. Um, you've got two who can use that. Um, we should be able to just go Tapio here, I think. Pokemon, Tapio, switch, throw Tapio in the front. Because... Yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine. And then, what item do you have again? You have an Life Orb, so yeah, we should be okay. Um, she's got the Pal Park there. We got this guy here who has some good Pokemon, but we should be fine, I think. I think we should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. I didn't heal a Korokamui, but they shouldn't be needed here. They call me an ace trainer. Allow me to demonstrate the talent that makes me so. Okay, Jake, let's go. Let's go, Jake. Ace trainer, Jake. Claydol. Levitate, Psychic, Earthquake, Shadow Ball, and Self-Destruct. I hope that Leaf Blade here will have enough, because I'm pretty sure it's Psychic Ground. So, Leaf Blade here should do a lot. I hope it does, at the very least. I really hope it does. If not kill. Good, it does. Good. Okay. Now, I should know what's coming in next as well, and I'll be fine with that. So, that's fine by me. Okay. Next on out is the Charizard. Levitate. Flamethrower, Dragon Pulse, Air Slash, and Crunch. Do keep in mind and remember, this Pokemon is part Dragon type. So, I could Dragon Claw. I could do that. Summary. Check moves. Uh, Dragon Claw is 8100, which is 120 base plus stab is 240. So, do I think that'd kill a Charizard? Probably. Am I gonna risk it? Fuck no. I'm just gonna go to Narcissus, who's World of Fairy, and tell it to fuck off. Dragon Pulse doesn't affect us. That's fine. I just didn't want to risk it, okay? I didn't want to risk it. Charizard used Air Slash. As long as we don't get flinch attacks here, we're fine. Wow, it's a good bit of damage. <sighs> but yeah, it, the only thing it can do is go for Air Slash now. And we're kind of locked into Narcissus because everything else is kind of pain in the ass to get to. But Narcissus used Moonblast. We don't get flinch hacks forever, so that's good. Moonblast here should kill because... Oh, wait, no, because... Ooh, maybe not. I should have gone for... I should have gone for... I should have gone for Scald. I should have gone for Scald. Uh, no, I shouldn't have, because it's less damage. But it is super effective, so I should have gone for Scald. I'm dumb. I forgot that Fire is good against Fairy. Or the very least. Yeah. Let's just Scald. No, because... No, because they're both neutral. God fucking damn it, I'm stupid. I forget Dragon's... Oh, Dragon's a good type. Dragon's a really good type. <laughs> surprise, surprise. It's a good type. Um, what we want to do? Yeah, we'll just go move fast. He withdrew the Charizard, though. Ha! <laughs> my brain! My brain is thinking four billion moves ahead. I knew he'd swap out for the Executor. Chlorophyll, Energy Ball, Psychic, Ancient Power, and Stun Spore. So, it is going for Energy Ball here. So, if it's going Energy Ball, we're just going to go ahead and switch to something that can tank that, and that would be Yonkash? 
I mean, Yumcash has got U-turn, so he can just U-turn out to anything, and that works. Yeah. Yumcash, I'm expecting the energy ball. Went for stun sport. You cuck. You cuck. I actually hate you. Uh, anyway, uh, what can we go for? Psychic's its strongest move at this point. Um, I think we should be faster, though, so I'm just going to go for this. We went for Psychic. You can cash here. Might not be the strongest, but can certainly tank at least something. Paralyzed and can't move. Okay, we're just switching. Not risking it. Falcon, come out. Falcon, do what you needed to do. I'm surprised I didn't go for Ancient Power, though. Went for Psychic again, but we quad resist that, so get fucked. Get absolutely fuckity wuckity fucked. Uh, we are gonna go for Meteor Mash. And we miss. You stun you. Naughty naughty. You naughty naughty. We don't like that. Uh, now we go for Meteor Mash. Go for Energy Ball. That's fine. Uh, that is very much fine. Yeah, that's fine. Not very effective. As long as we're not paralyzed, we're fine. <sighs> Okay, Meteor Mash. I don't know if that's going to do much. Or it might do a fair bit. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All right, well, we've got to go Bullet Punch here. Yeah, we go Bullet Punch here. He's going to swatch out the Charizard. Figures. But... Oh, no! We're paralyzed and can't move. Okay, well, with that information on hand, we are going to go ahead and switch to... Yeah, we can switch to Narcissus or Akura Kamui here. It doesn't actually matter a whole lot, but I would like to switch to Narcissus instead, because if Narcissus gets burnt on a flamethrower, then we actually do good. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be fine with that. Flamethrower, come on. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. Actually, don't... Give me the burn. Give me the burn. Yeah, you can give me a burn. Go on, burn. Burn? No burn. Damn. Actually wanted a burn. But that's fine. Uh, we are going to go ahead and use Moonblast. Use Air Slash. You missed. Get fucked. Moonblast kills. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I got your number. Because now, the last Pokemon in, we have next to no difficulty dealing with whatsoever. And that is a fun little Absol, which we'll see in a moment. But yes, we will uh, We'll also go and heal up before we have to deal with the goddamn Vile Plume, but... Exeggutor comes back on in. Oh, yeah, they still have the Exeggutor. Forgot about you. Uh, I'm just going to scold because I'm faster than you, so fuck off. Actually, just fuck off. <laughs> so, yeah, the one thing I'm learning here is if you are faster and they have a way of slowing you down, they will go for it or they'll put you to sleep. So, if you're faster, stay in and fucking hit them. So if you're far, if you're faster than them and they have a way of slowing you, they will. If they're slower than you and they have a way of putting you to sleep, they will. That's like their chain of priority, from what I've seen so far with some of their moves. Because we saw that with Barry as well, where he went for when he was f slower, he went for the way of speeding, uh, speeding themselves up. When then we were faster, they went and used the spore. But Absol here is the last Pokemon. Super Luck, Sucker Punch, Mega Horn, Psycho Cut, and Slash. Little scary, but even if it goes for Sucker Punch, it doesn't matter. So we don't care. Like Psycho Cut and Slash are the two best moves it can do. Um, and Mega Horn won't do anywhere near enough. Sucker Punch, it knows it can't do anything with. But Moonblast is super effective and it kills. So bye bye, Absol. Bye bye. Unfortunate for you. Unfortunate for me because everyone's now getting reasonably well leveled. Wants to learn the new Memento. Yum Cash, no! You are not learning Memento! You are not learning Memento! Give up on Memento! Please! You're too fast for it to be useful. Jake has been defeated. I'm burning with jealousy over your raw talent. Nah, it's not raw talent. I'm just higher level than you. Still, that is one of the ace trainers dealt with. We are going to go ahead and rush back over to the uh, the healer Mabubadav over here. Trainer, do you need healing? Don't worry. I'll never faint when I'm on the job. No, I don't need to faint. I just want to heal. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Now, Pokemon. Uh, we do want Chimela in the front. Yeah. Yeah, Pokemon, I need to check Summary on, uh, just to check what moves you still have, because you should still have, no, you have False Swipes right now, because I did, I did, I took it off, didn't I, yeah, I did, see, I almost, I almost screwed up, we'll use X-Scissor, we'll go ahead and use that, teach you, over False Swipes, and that'll be good, 
There we go, there we go. Now with that, we, uh, well, we just walk along over to the route where we're waiting for to find the other trainers. Hey, it's a Pseudo Wudo. Level 39. Poor Pseudo Wudo. I'm kind of glad I didn't have to try and think of a name for a Pseudo Wudo. That would have just been awful. Anyway, I should put also put the repel on. That would be a smart thing to do. Okay, and with that, we got a Super Repel on. We are looking for somewhere. There you are. There you are. You're over there. You're somewhere. You're somewhere. You're there. Uh, you are who I think you are, so, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, we'll just fight you. Let's just go in. Really? So you think you can beat me? <laughs> I'm an ace trainer. D you do realize. I do, but I also know every Pokemon you have, so, <laughs> let's, uh, let's go with that. Shannon sends out a Vile Plume, Chloroform, Energy Ball, Moonblast, Sludge Bomb, Earth Power. Little scary, very little scary, but I think X Scissor should kill here. Though I am gonna check on a Vile Plume, uh, on a Vile Plume blank set at level 45 against our Chamela. Um, we've got instead of Crunch, we have X Scissor. Oh dear, oh dear, we do not. Oh dear, uh, blast. Oh dear, Moonblast, uh, uh, Power, uh, Power does a lot as well, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, aye, 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 that's not great, kind of was hoping that we'd be fine there, what other moves did I say it's got, uh, Energy Ball, Moonblast, Sludge Bomb, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, and, uh, Energy Ball, Okay, so its best move is Earth Power. Our best move is Poison Jab at uh, level 48. Uh, I thought X Scissor would do a lot more, but it's not, because Vile Plume done. Okay. Uh, Earthquake also does a fair bit, but if it's going for Earth Power, we should actually switch here to Young Cash. Um, because then they just take, like, a Sludge Bomb or something, and we just switch out and switch around and have some fun. Have some fun with that. So yeah, Yum Cash, Valpoon uses Earth Power, it doesn't affect us. So now, we're gonna U-turn out, switch to, um, yeah, because it sees Sludge Bomb as a kill. So we U-turn out of that, it sees Sludge Bomb, we go to Vulcan here, ignore the Sludge Bomb, and can just hit this thing with a Zen Headbutt. Went for Sludge Bomb, doesn't affect us, so that's good. Vulcan here, yeah, Zen Headbutt kills. Um, Medium Ash won't kill at this point. It does see again Earthquake is its best move. We could actually just chip that thing down, like repeatedly, so we could switch to like Young Cash here. Do that. Let's do that. Let's just do that. Because it's likely going for Earth Power again. Yep, there it is. Doesn't affect us. So we can just chip out with U turn again. Go back. And that works. This works. It's a plan. It works. It works. This is where the AI suddenly recognizes that there's a strat and it goes for Earth Power again. I mean, it shouldn't. It really shouldn't. Again. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a fine strat for this. Uh, I'm literally just going to do this as many times as I need to. Because um, there's no reason not to. And then, yeah. Just Earth Power. Doesn't affect me. Uh, U-turn. <laughs> this is so dumb. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that damage. Eventually, at some point, I'll feel comfortable enough to hit this thing with any other move. Um, but yeah, it's under 50% now. So, uh, I mean, I don't actually, Pokemon, I need to check what item you've got, because I don't remember. Summary. Yeah, it's holding the expert belt, so again, Zen Hunter does a lot. Earthquake should kill from this, though. Earthquake should kill from this, because that's, that's definitely under. It's definitely under 50%. I, I think that's probably about 45. It's, it's got to be 47. At the lowest roll is 65. So how much does 65 look like on that HP bar? Yeah. Even if it is at the highest, that's, a, that's one roll. One roll that it wouldn't kill from. So I say we go for the expert. Uh, we go for the earthquake here. Because the earth power still only deals about 50% to us. So we're okay. Yeah, there we go. See? That's fine. 
That's fine. See? No problem. What was anyone worried about? I wasn't worried about anything. Were you worried about something? You shouldn't have been worried about something. Uh, I think I know what's coming in next. I think I know what's coming in next. Should be. Yes, Nido Queen. Poison Point, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Thunderbolt, and Flamethrower. Little scary. So the Nido Queen here at 45. Uh, yeah, we're a lot faster than it in. But Flamethrower, I need to see how much. Flamethrower doesn't kill. Earth Power is probably stronger. Yeah, Earth Power does a lot. Zen Headbutt will kill. Oh, Earthquake kills as well. Earthquake kills. Okay. We're fine. <laughs> and they're like, do I need to risk the Zen Headbutt? No, Earthquake kills. Oh, that's a fun time. There we go. There we go. Easy peasy. Goodbye. Actually, Earthquake wasn't a guaranteed kill if that thing had a plus defense nature. Uh, so, hmm, little scary. Little scary, but level 49 now for us is pretty nice. How much I tackle we are now, really good, like that. And cash gains some as well. Uh, Gardevoir is next. Gardevoir here has Synchronize, Psychic Moonblast, Thunderbolt, and Shadow Ball. Uh, that one is a little scary. Uh, and kind of why I did want to um, bring something in. But we have uh, Gardevoir. Uh, I need to check how much Shadow Ball does um, at level 45. Yeah, Meteor Mash is our best move here. But we could also kill with Bullet Punch. We could kill. Actually, we might kill it if we're still level 49 now. Oh, Bullet Punch. Bullet Punch could kill. Shadow Ball does a fair bit. What else did I say this thing's got? I'll check it again. Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, Moonblast, and Psychic. Uh, and Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt shouldn't do- yeah, just Thunderbolt and... Psychic. Doesn't do a lot, so it's only Shadow Ball that we're worried about. But, we can- like I said, we can either Meteor Mash... <sighs> okay, so Bullet Punch is a 50% chance to kill, but it's guaranteed to hit. Meteor Mash is a 100% chance to kill, but 90% chance to hit. So it's actually better for us to just hit Meteor Mash here. Because um, it's higher damage. And then... I mean, look, we could two-tap it. Oh, we missed! No! There's the Shadow Ball. We could switch here. We could switch. Like, that's the only scary thing. Okay. Yeah, we switch. We have to switch here. Uh, Shadow Ball. Shamela should be able to deal with that. Uh, without too much issue. Yeah, Shadow Ball doesn't do that much. Moonblast does hurt, but we're faster than it by a long way. And we can't get crit. So, we're fine. Like, we're actually just fine. Jamela, let's go. God of War used Thunderbolt! We're even more fine. Perfect. Just don't paralyze, and we're fine. That's the only thing we're worried about, is paralyzing. Uh, poison Jab kills here, so we just Poison Jab. There we go. We didn't end up using the X Scissor after all. That's a shame. But that's God of War dealt with. I think you've got at least. Yeah, you got two more. You got one more Pokemon actually. So okay, you got one more Pokemon, and we're fine. We're totally fine here. We should be totally fine. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. Lopunny, Scrappy, Return, Jump Kick, Bounce, and Fake Out. It is part fighting type. So, we don't want to stick in uh, at all, ever, at all. We're just going to go to Narcissus here. Like, straight up, Narcissus is the only thing we need to go to. Return is a very dangerous move with a lot of damage here, but it goes for Fake Out. We're fine. Like, we wanted this. We wanted that. So, yeah, we're fine. Like, we could have gone to the Metagross to then switch and tank that, but I didn't want to risk it. So, Moonblast here. Use Return. Return is a lot of damage. Like, a lot of damage, but we are so tanky, it just doesn't matter. And that takes that out. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good indeed. Now, with that, I feel comfortable for us to go ahead and move on and do the next thing we have to do. Which is the, uh, Pal Park. A little scary, some of the stuff in here. A little scary. So what I'm gonna do is, I have a plan for this. 
I do have a plan for this. We are going to go and get set up for the plan, and then we'll go ahead and uh, take that on. So I've got to go ahead and uh, can can you learn fly? Can uh, can can you and Cash learn fly? Because if they can, I'm gonna teach them fly. Cause I don't want to surf all the way back. Like. Because uh, that'll be fine. Okay, they can. Vulcan can learn fly. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll make our way back. Uh, I do just want to check, like, what's down here. Is that what I think it is? It's a power herb. Okay, that's fine. I'll take that. But yeah, I will go ahead and see you again in but a moment. Actually, just before I go ahead and do that, I do also remember we have our other Pokemon to look at. So let's have a look at Nefertem, shall we? Move you into the right spot and summary on you. Sassy nature plus special defense minus speed. Pfft, it's, it's okay. See, it does have stench, which helps keep wild Pokemon away. Annoying, it doesn't have the aftermath because I don't believe that does anything in battle. Uh, it's got 69 speed, so that's good for us. Poison, Jab, Flamethrower, Memento, and Crunch, like we thought. But what are its stats looking like, eh? What are its stats? Do keep in mind, again, it's got 115 base special, uh, base HP, 95 base attack, 70 base defense, 70 base special attack, 60 base special defense, and 85 base speed. So it has had a bit of a bump of, uh, like, 16, um, which is okay. Like, it's not too bad. Um, definitely more of a physical attacker, but can kind of do both if it needs to be a mixed attacker. But what are your actual IVs looking like? Let's have a look at you. They are a mixed bag, but I'd say all in all, not too bad. 20 HP, 23 attack, 15 defense, 7 special attack, 5 special defense, and 11 speed, leaving it with a dragon hidden power of 49 damage. That's not too bad, in all honesty. That's not too bad. Like, it's reasonably good typing, okay bulk, um, definitely more of a physical attacker. That was the only thing that I could say. So, Nefertem is there. I'm just glad it didn't kill itself. Anyway, with that, now we're gonna go ahead and get things set up for the next fight. Okay, then, we are back, and here is the plan. It's slightly different to what I originally had in mind, but the main goal of it is pretty much the exact same. Shell, Mar uh, Shell Armor here is gonna do some disgusting things. I need to swap the item they've got, but aside from that, they do some disgusting things. At level 51, they get Cross Poison, a 90 high crit ratio poisoning move that does silly things. I've also taught Knock Off over Crunch. The reason for this is because sometimes it might just be a little bit more useful to have the Knock Off. Doing 50% more damage when you've got an item might give us the edge that we need at some points. Earthquake's still gonna do fantastic. Swords Dance is Swords Dance, and that's the plan. Almost everything else, Narcissus, Akuro Kamui, Yormungand, Umibozu, are all here specifically and only as backup. No joke, they are here as backup. Nike's here because I needed something for an XP share and I thought I may as well have something to fly on it. So, that's the plan. The goal is, with Shamela here, we are going to... Uh, yeah, don't care about that. We are going to give you a citrus berry. That is the plan. We we'll just switch to a citrus berry. That's the plan. I think citrus berry keeps us alive a little bit longer. Uh, we could go for a shell bell. I would rather go for the citrus berry at this point. It just, um, that's my personal thought because I'm more comfortable knowing the damage numbers with that. So we go in here. Oh, hi, Barry. I don't have to fight Barry. Hey, Blair, are you here to see the Pal Park? <laughs> That's wicked awesome. You gotta catch rare Pokemon while the crowd cheers you on. Though, apparently, you normally have to supply the Pokemon by yourself. I don't really understand it. I mean, what's a DS game card? Ooh. Oh, there are some important-looking people watching the catching shows. Why don't you take a look? Just go up the stairs over there. Anyway, I'm off to Canalave City. See you there. Okay, goodbye. So, yes. This is a scary, scary part. No, Jonas complained that Rare would take longer to appear. This is to start with common Pokemon? I don't know. I don't have anything to do with the Pal Park. Yeah, I have, like, there's 
there's nothing here that I am interested in in the power part. Barry with 200, 2,000 points, can you top that? Welcome to the power part. This is where top-notch trainers come to demonstrate the Pokemon catch techniques to their peers. Oh, are you maybe... Oh, are you blur? Well, I've heard rumors about you. Well, as you're a hotshot trainer, we'll be... Blah, 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 blah. No, I don't want to do... Th oh, I don't want to do this. Understood. No. No, that's too bad. We're just going to be a shot if you don't like to open to say. We do not. So... Double, 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 double checking. Summary on everything. Shamela here is close to level 52. It's a little bit closer than I'd like, but that's fine. Uh, with this, battle armor protection against crits is so important. Same thing for Umibozu. Uh, Umibozu. Battle against crits, really useful. Leech life over X is because it's, you know, healing and that's nice. Waterfall, um, that's that's fine. We've got a really good look. Yormungand and Nike. Nike's a sack if necessary, but we've got like two in Tims, which is nice. Narcissus is good and Akora Kamui is good as well. Uh, what I want to check is on a summary, which one of these two has more defense? You do. And actually, I, I should really burn Narcissus, so let me go do that really quickly. Okay, so that's Narcissus burnt. Only reason I'm doing that is, again, it's just I'm playing absolute min-max, min-max here. Boost defense, it does a status problem. That'll be useful to have. Um, yes, it eats into leftovers a little bit, but that's fine. We will be fine here. So double, 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 double checking, because I'm paranoid and scared. Cross Poison Knockoff Earthquake with a Citrus Berry. Leftovers with a Burn. That's necessary. Black Sludge with Barrier. That works. Life Orb, level 50 with Waterfall. That works. Umibozu with Expert Belt and level 52. That works. Nike with XP Share. That works. Nike's level uh, 48 because I don't want to over level them too hard with this uh, at this point. So, first of all. Whoa, well done. <laughs> Oh, hello. Who might you be? Ah, is that a Pokedex? You must be the young assistant that I've heard Professor Rowan talk about. So, Blur, I'm very glad to meet you. My name is Professor Oak. Just like Professor Rowan, I'm also a Pokemon researcher, though I came from the Kanto region. Ah, oh, you were so close! The Pal Park is stunning. Wouldn't you agree, Blur? It has a special system that attracts every imaginable kind of Pokemon from every region. I came here to make certain that system is operating properly. But I found myself rather enjoying the catching shows taking place here. You don't often get to see some of those exotic species. Wonderful! <laughs> mm. Ah, it appears that catching show has ended. It was fun while it lasted, though. I plan to stay in the Sinnoh region for some time. Being here, I should be able to make the best of my time studying the local Pokemon. You're welcome to visit my home in Eterna City if you like. Oh yes, do you see those two people over there by the window? You should get acquainted with them. They're experts at Pokemon battling. Okay, well it was a pleasure to meet you. Bye now. Goodbye. But yes, these two here are the scary two. It's not you. The catching show, it's a head-on clash. Yeah, especially before it's the Pokemon in the region, but it tucks my heart strings so that they're so far away from home. This is the scary fight. Let's do it! Greetings. The catching show was very enjoyable, was it not? My name is Darak, and to my left is my employer, Lady Caitlin. Darak, this person is a trainer, yes? Yes, my lady, I do believe so. Lady Caitlin is the owner of the battle castle, you see. You'll find that she can be very talent taken by superlative, ba superlative battles. However, for a reason I'm not able to disclose, Lady Caitlin cannot battle by herself. Or you, sir, you herself. Consequently, I partake in battles in her ladyship's place. Lady Caitlin would very much appreciate viewing a Pokemon battle. As such, I would like to humbly request that you and I partake in one now. Let's do it. Let me assure you that you won't be shortchanged by facing me. On guard! <laughs> This is a scary fight. Castle Valley Dadak. A very scary fight. Starts off with a Gallade. Psycho Cut, Night Slash, Close Combat, Leaf Blade with a Scope Lens. Definitely scary. Definitely very scary. But with Battle Armor, we can't get crit. Close Combat is the best move it can go for. And with a Scope Lens, it could be really scary. So we're going to Swords Dance here. We set up one Swords Dance. That's all we need. We cannot get crit. It loses close combat. This close combat will do over 50% to us. 
Guaranteed over 50%. We've got the highest roll possible. Fuck you. You little shit. You got the absolute highest. You motherfucker. But it gets puts us back up to 90. We'll be fine here. Now, with this. Now with this, I need to double check what we can start with here. Uh, Dre, Pion, Chamela here at plus two, cross poison, knock off, and uh, both kill. So we are going for the safest option in cross poison because I don't know if uh, knock off works the right way. But we're doing this, we're going for cross poison. Bam! Plus also we can crit, so. But the reason we go for cross poison is actually something different here, but we get a crit anyway. This hopefully brings in one specific Pokemon here from Darak. I hope. It should. But we gained a thousand experience. This is why we needed to make sure that we had the XP share on. <coughs> We'd have gained 2,000 from that if we hadn't. So, really scary. Next up, Metagross. Okay, not the one I was thinking it was going to be, but Metagross here from Darach. The Metagross here is not something we have to worry about in the slightest, right? I'm pretty sure we don't anyway. Uh, let me just check everything. Uh, so yeah, we are fine here. Iron Fist with a Life Orb, Medium Ash, Zen Headbutt, Earthquake, Hammer Arm. It can see a kill here because we're at like 92 HP. So 92 is, yeah, 68%. It can see a kill with Meteor Mash, Earthquake, and Hammer Arm. Uh, maybe not, uh, not Hammer Arm, so Earthquake and Meteor Mash. Earthquake here should kill. Should kill. But if it is a plus defense nature, then it is a roll at 62%. We are going to have to try and see if knockoff works the way I think it does and the way it should do. This is the riskiest move that we now have to do. Knockoff here should kill because it does 140% damage. It does. And now we know that without its life orb, we can check. Okay, knockoff was still gonna do a guaranteed one hit KO, so I can't guarantee that that was the case. That's a little scary, but we should be okay. Staraptor comes in next. This Staraptor here from Darak, Reckless with a King's Rock, Return, Brave Bird, Close Combat, and Roost. We can kill this here with Cross Poison. I have it set slightly incorrectly because I'm using my own Star Raptor, so it's got the, uh, the, the, the IVs and things. So let me just absolutely triple, triple, triple check uh, on this. So yeah, we're definitely faster. We definitely kill with Cross Poison. We definitely kill with Knock Off. I don't know if Knock Off does actually kill. So what we're going to do is see if it's got none. We go Cross Poison. I don't know if knockoff works how it's supposed to, where it boosts it by 50%. I don't know if it does that. I hope it does, because that's fine. But that takes out the Star Raptor. That's now dealt with. That's good. Oh boy, three left, right? Yes, three left. It's the Entei. Entei is next with pressure. Sacred Fire, Stone Edge, Extreme Speed, and Iron Head. We can two-tap this thing with Cross Poison. Or we can get the crit. Either way, we two-tap this thing. We're just concerned about Extreme Speed more than anything. Sacred Fire is a little scary as well if it burns. So, we're kind of flying by the seat of the pants here. But, Knock Off has a 25% chance to kill. Cross Poison has, uh, I don't know if Cross Poison works the way I think it does, but the other move we go for is Earthquake into Earthquake, which definitely kills, even if we're burned, because it eats the Shocker Berry at that point. <sighs> it's risky, it's really risky, and it kind of makes our, uh, the rest of the plan a little bit more difficult, but... The other option is to switch, and we can switch here. Why would we switch here when we could just do damage? Because Shamela can't die and would always get off good damage. So we can either go for knockoff, 
I think we go knockoff here. Because we knock off the Shuckerberry anyway. We either go Earthquake or, shock or, or knock off. Cross Poison, we'd be relying on a crit. The other option is we switch to Jormungandr for the Intimidate. Know that we've got a Stone Edge coming in and just blitz it at that point. And we just blitz through with, uh, with Waterfall. We then have to deal with... Uh, what are the other Pokemon we have to deal with? Uh, two very difficult ones to deal with. <sighs> yeah. At that point, we just... Narcissus more than anything, I reckon. Maybe Umibozu. That's the other option, is we use Umibozu. <sighs> I think, though, that considering... Most in circumstances, I think we have to go for the 25% with knockoff here. It's a risk, it's a roll, it's tough. I'm not expecting to be able to hit the roll. We didn't hit it, that's fine. There's the sacred fire. But it missed! But it missed! Yes! Yes! Okay. Okay. Now we just go for earthquake. Oh my god. Okay. That was the only other thing that could happen is a Sacred Fire miss. And I was planning on the worst case scenarios. Entei is dealt with. This is the hardest Pokemon we would have to deal with here. Everything else is back to the plan. <laughs> oh, Shamela. Uh, Shalama. Oh my goodness. Level 49 for Star Raptor. That's fine. Next up is Alakazam, Magic Guard, with an Expert Belt, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, Focus Blast, and Energy Ball. We are faster than the Alakazam. We are uh, definitely faster than the Alakazam, and Knock Off deals 400% damage. If it holds no item, it's still 200% damage. Hell, Earthquake and Cross Poison kill this thing. The only, only way we are not faster, is if this thing is a plus speed nature. But if it is a plus speed nature, we still to tap this thing with another Pokemon. So we are fine. It's going for Focus Blast. We know it's going for Focus Blast. We are fine. We cannot get crit. At most, Focus Blast can do 79 damage. At most, that's including a plus special attack nature. So we are going to Earthquake. It is a plus speed nature. Okay, fuck you then. That's bullshit. Fuck you. <laughs> the four in 25, but that's fine. That's totally fine. Earthquake here still kills. And we're low, but I don't care at this point. I just don't care at this point. We're fine. We're in the home stretch now, baby. The home stretch. Because last up. Ooh, okay, we're not in the home stretch yet. We're not in the home stretch just yet. Empoleon here. Torrent holding a citrus berry. Hydro Pump, Flash Cannon, Ice Beam, Aqua Jet. We're at 26 HP, which is 19%. Aqua Jet cannot kill, but if it's a plus natured. It cannot kill. Okay. Aqua Jet cannot kill. It cannot crit. We can kill with Earthquake. We're just sending it. We're faster anyway. It doesn't even go for the Aqua Jet because it doesn't see it. That's game. That's game. Maybe Shell Bell was better. Maybe Shellwell was Shellbell was better. It might have given us more HP overall in more than two uh, in more than two. So Shellbell was probably the right call there. I messed up and made the wrong call. I went for the 25% now rather than like in two like Shellbell. But Castle Valley Dalak is defeated and all with Shemela. Fucking beautiful. Bravo! My hat's off to you. I shall see my, uh, I shall see to appeasing Lady Caitlin's displeasure at my loss. My lady, was this battle most enjoyable for you? Hmm. Fight. My lady? 
fight 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 ah lady caitlin's psychic powers the intensity of our fight must have stimulated her latent talent alas she cannot control it not fair an offer of fresh tea should diffuse this situation fight 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 lady caitlin some freshly brewed tea for you <sighs> mm. Ah, thank you, Darak. Here is some tea for you, too. It is really a divine. The flavor of this beverage can quench the thirst of anyone in this world. Okay. Woohoo! That's pretty good. We should be going, but our battle was stupendous. Please do come visit the battle frontier and look for us in the battle castle. We would be delighted to host another battle with you in the future. Goodbye for now. Alrighty then, alrighty then. What a fight. What a way to end the fight, eh? What a way. What a way. Just... What a way to go. Absolutely disgusting there. Battle armor proving its worth. It was insane. So that is by far and away the best thing we could have hoped for here. And with that... We're going to end off the episode here. Next time, we'll be moving on to Route one, uh, 218 and all along there. But for now, i got to go and stir my heart and everything because that was quite close. I hope you have enjoyed this. And if you have, do be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more and to share this stuff so people know that it exists. My name has been Supersonic. Blur. You nerds have been a fantastic audience, and we shall see you all next time.